How to make a do-it-yourself anemometer. An anemometer is a device used for measuring wind speed. Today we will be making a simple hemispherical cup anemometer, which measures wind speed by the number of revolutions its cups make per given time. Some materials you'll need are an egg carton, a permanent marker, wooden skewers or toothpicks if you have them, a pair of scissors, a plastic cup, a pencil with an eraser at the end, tape, two straws, and thumbtacks or sewing pins. The first step to making your own anemometer is taking your egg carton and cutting out four of the cups. You don't have to use a styrofoam egg carton. In fact, I would recommend against it since styrofoam is one of the major polluters of New York City waterways. However, because these are extraordinary times, I could only find eggs in styrofoam cartons at my neighborhood grocery store. Next, you'll take the wooden skewers or the toothpicks if you have them and pierce the cups that you've cut out with them. Since I didn't have any toothpicks, I used some wooden skewers and cut them to the approximate size of toothpicks. Once you're done inserting the toothpicks or the skewers into the egg carton cups, they should look something like this. Next, we are going to take the two straws. I cut off the top bendable portion from mine. Tuck in the toothpicks or wooden skewers into each end of the straw so that the egg carton cups are sticking out from either side. Next, take some tape to secure the carton cups onto the straw. You want to make sure that the egg carton cups on each straw face opposite directions. This is a very important detail when making your anemometer. Repeat with the other straw. Next, we are going to cross both straws to form a 90 degree angle. Make sure that all of the cups are facing the same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Tape the straws together at the intersection. Next, we are going to attach what we've made to a pencil. Take a thumbtack or a push pin and pierce the place where the straws have intersected. They are going to rotate from the point of the thumbtack or push pin. Once you've used your pin to push through the straws, you are then going to push it into the eraser of a pencil. Lastly, you're going to make a stand for your anemometer. Take your cup and pierce a hole in the bottom. When you turn it upside down, it becomes a stand for your new anemometer. If or when you decide to take your anemometer outside for a test run, you may find that it is hard to count the number of revolutions the cups spin since they are more or less identical. If you are having a hard time keeping track of the number of revolutions the egg carton cups make under fast wind, you can color one of the cups with a permanent marker to make it easier to spot with your eye when it's spinning really fast. It should look something like this. That's it! You've just made a simple anemometer. 
If you want to calculate wind speed in miles per hour, check out this video on YouTube and open the video description for a detailed explanation. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit VOP's digital platform for more STEM education resources.